Hey, so this is a really quick tutorial for Catlin or Caitlin, forgive me, I know I've probably got that wrong, but uh, Slocum on the Squarespace Tips and Tricks group. Uh, you basically have this site here and you wanted this, where whichever is the active accordion, you get a cut, nice color change um, for the item's title. This is really, really simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it really fast. So first, <clears throat> If I open my inspector, I've got this element here, the accordion item title. That's what we want to color change. So let's put that in. We're selecting the period and we're going to make it green. That's obviously selected all of them, which is no good. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a little annotation, accordion item open. I'm going to look at my inspector again. And if I look at the entire element, so it's right here, the accordion item, I can see that whichever one is open is the only one that has this data is open true attribute. So let's paste that just here, set it up in some nice square brackets and that works fine. However, you'll see I've put them on separate lines and I'm gonna show you why. First, I'm gonna select all of this, pop it into curly brackets. This now lets me nest multiple um, bits of CSS for different elements inside. So for example, I could say, um, I'll get that plus, I can hide it only for whichever one is open. Really, really simple. It just gives us a little bit more options here. Now, as you can see, the speed of the transition for the color is different to this plus. And now I happen to know that it's 0.2 seconds just from looking at it earlier, but that's how long it takes. So we can take this same selector here and we can do transition and it's going to be color and it's 0.2 seconds. Now it'll transition at the same speed. So that should solve your question pretty quickly. However, we can play around with this a little bit more. So first, I'm just going to change the font weight I can tell today to uh, 900. And I'm also going to target this plus element here. And if you look in your CSS, the plus and horizontal line, while you could just target them there, Squarespace has actually used a slightly more specific selector. So I'm going to nab those. I'm going to put them here. And I'm also going to make them a bit bigger. Let's make them four pixels thick. Uh, and I need to use an important because it's an inline property. This will just make things a little bit easier to see. Now, you might think, OK, well, these are mismatched. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change their color to red. That's not going to work, though, because it's not a text element. So we need to actually first do the background color. That's what we want to change. Now. Seeing as I'm sticking with this red and green color scheme, I might also want to copy this, um, this selector and its properties here, nest it inside, accordion is open. And in fact, just to make things a bit clearer, I'm going to do control A and I'm going to do control shift tab. Oh, sorry. Oh gosh, I've forgotten the shift tab. There we go, not control shift tab. And it just um, aligns everything, indents things. Um, okay, so get rid of these properties because we don't need to duplicate them. And let's do background color green. Again, we need to use that important selector to get it to work. Ooh, and I'm missing something. Background color green. Have I made a typo? Ah, yes, sorry. It's this uh, SQS block accordion that we don't need because the hierarchy is the block accordion block, then the list item, then whatever the property is. Um, yeah, so that's obviously quite nice. However, you'll see there the color changes obviously a lot faster. And you'd think you can just scroll back up here uh, to the accordion item, sorry, the, the accordion lines and say, okay, transition. Let's also do rather than color, let's do background color. And let's do 0.2 seconds and everything's going to be good. But now that's messed up the animation. 
And the reason being that this background color here has overwritten the transform that's native. So you've got two options. You can just throw in a comma and do transform 0.2 seconds as well. And now we're golden. Or if you are feeling a little bit short handy, you can just do all and make sure you leave the space. And there you go. A few little things to play around with. You could get interesting. You could have something like, uh, let's find the element. There you go. So this is the accordion item title wrapper. And you know what? I'm just going to comma and put it in like, oh gosh. Let's get this right. The accordion item, um, the accordion item title wrapper. And I'm going to put a two second transition on it as well. And then again, where the accordion item is open, I could do background color. Let's just do white for simplicity. Again, you might have to go back and you might say, okay, fine. I need, uh, let's just swap that to an all. And yeah, really simple. So you can start doing, and you can do this with all sorts of properties. You could do it, I don't know, with the borders. You could do it, you can do it with font weight, but I'll show you it looks really, really janky because font weight doesn't animate smoothly. Uh, let's set it down to 100. I don't actually know if this font scales that low. Yeah, it's a bit meh. But you could do other things, you know, you could do text transform, italic. Sorry, that's the font style, isn't it? Not text transform, forgive me. There we go. Text transform would be uh, transform case, for example. You can do all sorts, and you can really play around with this and make your custom, sorry, make your accordions a little bit more interesting. Hope it's helped.